What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm going over Pyro DPS uh, skill tree for uh, mercenals, for mercenals, for mercenaries, uh, excuse me, and um, I'm going to go over not too much stat priorities and gearing but I'll go over mainly uh, rotations and spec. So let's quickly get out of the way of what I'm using. Here's my gear. Uh, I'm still rocking mostly 72s, but I'm still pulling uh, great numbers. Um, my crit rating is only at 270, but due to all the uh, the bonuses to crit that you get in the skill tree, my tech crit is at 30, and my range crit is at 32. And honestly, if you're anywhere between 240 and 270 um, for both Arsenal and Pyro, that's pretty much uh, the sweet spot that you want to be at. Um, so once you get around there, go ahead and stop stacking crit and start stacking power. Uh, obviously you want aim augments and the bonus set, obviously you want the eliminators. Uh, once you're BIS, you should be exactly or a little bit over 100% accuracy. Right now I'm at 395. Uh, you really don't want to put an extra enhancement over there and go too crazy over. But as long as you're at 99.5, you'll be good. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for stats and uh, gearing. So let's get into spec. Uh, I spec into 2836, and honestly, you kind of have to go full pyro. To get that ther thermal detonator, uh, it's actually going to be better DPS um, and better numbers than getting the target tracking. Uh, target tracking uh, which gives your unload a extra 30% uh, crit bonus. So make sure you definitely follow this spec how I have it here. Um, also too, the only reason I put one point into Jet Rebounder is because in PvE and in Rage you really don't want to use your knockback that could fuck over the raid. So um, I kind of suggest following how I have my, uh, my skill tree set up exactly how I have it here and the points into the uh, missile blast for the silo you don't use missile blast at all at least I don't so I found that just to be a complete waste of points and I found uh, other places for it uh, now let's get into the explanation of the rotation um, so I start off with a instant free cast of fusion missile and then I pop my uh, relics or adrenals, followed by incinerating missiles, uh, rail shot, electro net, thermal detonator, unload. If I have my rail shot proc, I'll go ahead and do that. If not, I'll do two power shots and then a rail shot. I always get my rail shot procs off of two power shots. It's kind of weird. I think right now, as uh, of this video being made, uh, pyro spec is broken a little bit. But I thought I'd do. Uh, I thought I'd make a video just because I'm pulling really good numbers with it. Kind of surprising. Um, you always want to uh, try to get your rail shot proc off of unload, just because it's better heat management. Uh, because you're doing a three second cast and then you're getting a free rail shot and it's going to get rid of eight uh, eight heat. So it's just better heat management, but that always isn't the case, and you're gonna have to do two power shots to get your your rail shot proc, which I know kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, always refresh your incendiary uh, missile when it comes off. Uh, when electro net comes off, it's cooldown. Obviously, go ahead and do that, and uh, you'll guys see how I work in my thermal detonator. Sometimes I'll use it as a filler when I'm waiting for my unload to come off but pretty much I'm always using my thermal detonator on cooldown. Um, I don't use my death from above in this ability just because I'm uh, uh, I don't have the 20% alacrity uh, for vent heats so I'll always save death from above for uh, adds um, along with flamethrower and sweeping blasters obviously and like I said before, I don't use Missile Blast. It's kind of a waste. Um, also, too, if my heat is a uh, 
is a little high at the moment and I don't want to use event heat but I have thermal uh, sensor up I'll go ahead and use thermal sensor only on fusion missile just because uh, it's gonna give me some downtime and I'll be doing an ability cast at the same time too um, but that's pretty much it for the explanation uh, before I give a demonstration I did want to go over relics uh, as the video is being made right now they are broken um, so any uh, PVE with PVP relic combination is gonna work any PVE relic combination is gonna work so uh, as you can see I'm using a PVP and a PVE relic right now uh, but if you have uh, Kel Dragon and the new Dreadforge or something like that then you can go ahead and do that I was using Arcanian and Underworld before if you're unsure of the procs uh, if they're gonna double proc or they're gonna proc uh, simultaneously uh, just go ahead and go up to the train dummy and get it do a rapid shot on load whatever just get and attack it until you see them proc um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys like subscribe comment and enjoy the rotation here peace out